Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Or Regalia of Men and Monarchs. I've heard it both ways. It's totally fine. We're going to continue on. Now, I haven't really found a save point yet, so that's kind of a little bit scary. But, again, a lot of the stuff that we went through in the last episode, and by a lot I mean literally everything in the last episode was all storyline elements, and we didn't get to see much gameplay. We're about to hop into some gameplay right now, and hopefully we'll be able to find a save point, so we'll be able to continue on and do stuff. I imagine the game will be continually upgraded and updated from now until it fully releases on the 27th of April, so be aware of that. All right, so what exactly will we be cleaning? Oh, you know, simple things. Spider webs, rubble, dust mites. Oh, no! Whoa! By the gods, this one's huge and ugly. Perhaps it is the broodmother of those things. I wonder if it flies. Are we really talking about this right now? Just hit it. Hit it. Ambush or arrows are attacked by skittering denizens of the castle. Oi. Yes, they are. All right, we're about to get in and do some of the battle. All right, hallway beneath the castle. Vanquish all enemies. That's our main objective. Let's start the battle. All right, this is a list of our, or sorry, a list of available characters. Press the left mouse button on a portrait, and then press the left mouse button on any blue tile to deploy them. Pressing the right mouse button will cancel your last choice. Got it. All right, so we have auto deployment. We also have a non-auto deployment. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to put you here. No, we're not. I lied. I know. I'm going to put you here. I'm going to put you there. And we're going to finish our deployment. What else is there? Let's turn go. on. Here we go. All right. First battle tutorial actions. During their activation, each combatant can move, can both move and perform an action in any order. Combatants can move multiple times during an action or an activation as long as they have movement points remaining. However, combatants can only perform one action per activation. I, I'd almost wish that they would get rid of activation. I mean, it's fine, but it's just, I don't know, it's hard to read. You get action and activation, and it's just, like, per turn. Why, why, why can't they just call it turn? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm being silly, but I think they should just say per turn. Anyway, however, uh, combatants can perform only one action per activation. This can mean either using a skill or an item. When you are done, NK's activation by pressing space. Again, turn. Why not just use turn? This seems silly to me, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Ignore all of the bells and whistles for now. Focus on moving your characters forward, perhaps using a skill or two to get the feel of them. Alright. The hotbar with all the available actions is here. As before, you can cancel your choices by pressing the right mouse button. Hovering over, a s hovering over skill icons will display extensive information about the highlighted skill, its damage range, cooldown period, and possible ongoing effects. Cool. Got it. Alright, so I'm going to move here with K, and I'm going to take a shot at you, Giant Rataman. Bang. We missed. That's not great. It missed? It missed? Yeah, sounds about right. Alright, so we're done, so we're going to hit space to end our turn. So I mentioned in the last episode how I prefer to have W, A, S, and D as our uh, movement things, if you guys recall correctly. We're about to get sneezed on, that sounds gross. Thank you. Alright, so what I would do... Well, let's just... Oh, let me take a look here. Move with A... I mean, I guess it's okay, so... A literally lets us move. I mean, we could have done that anyway, right? I almost want to say that you could have done something along the lines of... What is this? Wait. Oh, we can wait. Delays the current activation by two spaces on the turn order track. Okay. Blitz spends one authority point to gain a bonus action, enabling the use of other skills. I feel like you could do most of the stuff and still move with W, A, S, and D. Instead of having Q, W, E, R, and T... You could have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, instead of uh, move, I mean, you're going to move anyway, aren't you? 
when you left click, so why do you actually need a move button there? To open up the item, you can have it maybe a C instead of, uh, or Q, and wait could be E. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do moving around the W, A, S, and D keys. Again, not a big deal. I know I'm making, I'm harping on this a, a lot. I, it's not really a big deal, and it's not something that, like, I'm super sad about or anything of that nature, but still, just, just letting you know, there are ways around this. Uh, moves to the target if it's an enemy deals damage based on blah 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 blah. Hmm. Well, unfortunately. So if we move, can we unmove? I'm curious. I just want to see how this works. Oh, I can do that? What? Oh, it's not going to let me do that because there's stuff blocking. There's no line of sight or something along those lines, right? And we can't undo our move, can we? Oh, we can with Z. Alright. Why wouldn't we be able to just right click to undo it? It's fine. Again, it's, it's fine. Alright, we're going to move over here. Apparently I did not make good choices. I guess that's okay. I will taunt you into fighting me. Come! Face me, fool! Use... What, what is an authority point? Well, need some additional skill during the same turn. It's cool, though. Alright, let's go ahead and end our turn. Spacebar, I like spacebar ending the turn. Oh, the dust cannon. Oh, he hit his own guy. I don't know if that was the play. Hey, you! Right, hey, you! I got nothing. Alright, health and shields. Below you can see your combatant's current health and shield values. Health on the left, shield on the right. And regalia, or regalia. Uh, health cannot be replenished during combat in any way. Instead, combatants can gain temporary shields, which allow them to absorb incoming damage. Since shields are depleted before health, it is important to generate them preemptively using skills and items. Beware, though. There are numerous ways to bypass shields, and they are available mostly to your enemies. Hey, life ain't fair. Alright, so let's see here. We have command. Grants a 20% of maximum shields to a target if used on an ally, or it marks a target... Uh, for two turns if used on an enemy. You point, I punch. Okay. We'll have a 100% chance to hit. And then on this side, Rend deals 95% base damage as physical to the target and has a 50% chance to apply slow. Inspire spawns an inspiring banner on the battlefield. 30% chance to apply empower to the ally when activated. The chance is increased to 100% if the ally activates while adjacent to the banner. Okay. Pull yourself together, the target ally, and lowers all of their cooldowns. That's interesting. I think what I'm going to do is... I'll probably put the banner down. That seems like a maybe legit thing. And then... Oh, I blocked myself. That's not great. Well, I guess I'm going to move over here. Uh, seems a little bit scary. I'm going to probably... We can't bolster ourselves. That's not great. Well, I guess I'm gonna mark you. Right at you! Right at you, sir! Oh, I can move with Battle Tide. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and end our turn. I guess this is our authority points. No? Oh, up there. Okay. Nice. Snurk. Alright, so we're gonna get attacked. He's gonna sneeze on us. We're gonna definitely buff him up here soon. Let us strike. Alright, Crescent Strike. Oh, oh. Hmm. Oh, no, okay, it hits him. Okay, that's cool. Let's give that a shot. No quite. Uh, on well, we killed one. one of them. We didn't kill both. I'm gonna say we can move here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all about using the authority. Why not? Pinpoint. No, we failed. Retreat. Run like the wind, Binky. All right. So we're gonna get dust cannon, and then I, of course, moved within range of two. It's, it's fine, probably. All right. So we got some of our um, our stuff back there. It's interesting. Ongoing effects and passive abilities. As you might have already noticed, your skills involve more than just headbutting stuff. Which is detrimental to me because I love to headbutt things. 
Skills may apply positive or negative ongoing effects to their targets. These are always displayed at the bottom of a skills tooltip. Okay. Uh, passive abilities are special types of ongoing effects unique to each combatant. These are infinite in duration and typically reflect a combatant's play style. All ongoing effects currently afflicting the combatant are shown here. This is where you will find a combatant's passive ability. Got it. Alright, so what do we have here? Battle Tide generates one stack of Battle Tide whenever K uses a skill. At three stacks, all stacks are consumed, granting either empowered. Evasion, Aegis, or Fleet, chosen randomly to random ally for two turns. Okay, that's one thing. Alright, this is Fleet, Movement, and Initiative increased by half of the base value, and Empowered, Weapon Damage is increased. Cool. So what I think we should do... Is maybe... I can't do this? Why can't I do this? Quiet. Two of these weird crystal things and five... Pull yourself together. Hmm. I don't know how we get that to work just yet, but that's okay. Alright, I think I'm going to undo my move, though. Alright, let's go ahead and inspire you. This just feels right. Give you get a little bit of shielding there. You know what, I think I'm going to move here. I think that's going to probably be my play. Alright, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's end our turn. We're now no longer fleet or empowered-did. Ha! Get wrecked. Alright, so at this point we can do a little bit of murder on you. Pinpoint strike. Good day, sir. Your gods take you. Move back behind you here. We have do another authority. Falter. You can blitz and pinpoint strike right there and victory. victory. We can zoom out, we can zoom in. There's not a lot of zooming, but there are some zoomable things. I think we're gonna move here and try to tank this. I don't know if he's going to try to bypass us or not. Alright, so we're weakened and we're empowered no more. He did not get through our uh, shield there, so that's good. Let's go. I'm going to move here. We're going to try to mark this guy. That way there's no way to miss. Strike now! Strike now! For great justice! I'm going to use my authority again. And shoot him with a gun. 160, and we should have him beat right now. Get wrecked. Sweet. Victory for House Lauren. Victory for House Lauren. All right, so the battle's completed. 25 experience. We have finished the battle. It is sweet, sweet, nice style. Each character has a unique passive ability that dictates their play style. Be sure to keep that in mind as you plan your moves. Pretty cool, right, guys? Pretty what is this cool. place? An armory? It is. All right, we're going to go and auto listen to this again as usual. Well, well. I think you should look at this, sire. You sire. do. Sire. What? That uh, okay, coming. Oh, kind of cut off there a little bit. Hmm. What did you find? Wait. A sketch of House Lauren's family tree? That's exactly what we need. Why? Specifically? Oh, but it's incomplete. It's a start. Undamaged. Oh, what do you mean? Look at it as one looks at a foundation. With this, you get a tangible base to build upon. Okay. Questions to answer. People to look for. All names right, that's to fair. check. A direction, so to speak. Which is exactly what we need right now. I guess. I am sure that eventually we will be able to fill the blanks ourselves. Uh, you're right. Let's show this to the girls, Griffith. Agreed. And as unenthusiastic as they were, let us hope they have cleaned up the main hall. Uh, they are actually I'm on cleaning sure duty. I'm grandfather would nag them to death otherwise. Oh, by the way, before we... Before we go, I I'm not sure why it's this cutting seems off. seems out of place. Indeed, it does not resemble any of the other armors around the castle. Thoughts? 
It seems Lord Amarian in origin. Hmm. Sun symbols everywhere. Plenty of ornamentations, highly impractical, perhaps used for ceremonial reasons. In all honesty, it is hard to tell sometimes. Lordemar's knights like it's gaudy. Hmm. Lordemar? The kingdom of Lordemar to the east? Militant sun worshippers? The very same, yes. Why would a Lordmarian armor be locked in here? We're in Rashtil. That's far, far away. It a gift from a king, perhaps. Is, I suppose. Hmm, could be. Uh, I think we should do something with it. It does look out of place. If it doesn't involve Lady Gwen pawning it off for money, then yes. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of main hall decoration, moving it somewhere more presentable. Fair enough. I do not see why not. All right. Up to it. it. Sometimes I think you and your sisters are more alike than you imagine, young master. Awkward. Uh, after stumbling upon the castle armory, our heroes retrieve an incomplete family tree of House Lauren. While the information it presents is scarce, it gives them a solid base to start their inquiry into what exactly happened to Ascalia. Additionally, it appears that someone somehow has left behind a suspicious suit of golden armor. And I clicked off the screen. My bad. I'm back. <laughs> I want mouse lock, guys. Give me mouse lock, please. Add that hey, as a feature. Alright, we're going to once again go with the auto uh, advancement. I like it. it go? To be honest, we didn't really clean much, but we found this. What's that? Looks like a family tree. Our family tree, I assume. Yeah. You know, this may actually be useful. We're going to need stuff like this if we want to get to the bottom of this debt business. Our thoughts exactly. Oh, but it's more than that. <laughs> you can't Gramps. be narrow-minded in this, boy. It's not just about who borrowed what, you know? If you want to be a king, you need legitimacy. And that means history, lineage, solid facts. Everything that constitutes rulership. That's fair. You may frown upon this, Sonny, but there are folks who buy into this more than they buy into money. It's a chunk of knowledge that will help you in the long run. I agree. If we are to be nobility, we need the bearings of nobility. And if it helps us on more than one front, all the better. I can't be running around dusting off chronicles. There are things to do right here, right now. You're not alone in this, big bro. Remember? Let me handle the... Hmm, boring ancestry stuff. I'll be digging into documents and family affairs while you do your thing. Which I assume will involve whacking uglies. What do you mean by that? What about me? What about you? Oh, I want to help too! So cold. How about no? I think that's an excellent idea. I'd appreciate it if you two would work on this together. Are you serious? You heard him? <laughs> oh, come on, sis. Why the long face? It's going to be fun! Ah, also, I bet your duties will take you all over Rashtil, Sonny. Methinks you should also ask the nice ladies over here to look after the city while you're away. That is a wise course. All, you're in this together, hmm? As a family. So are you, old fart. Hmm. Oh, but I'm dead already. True. Can I trust you with this, then? Leave it to us. What all about right. you, Griffith? You know my answer. I swore an oath on your father's dying breath that I would not leave your side. I shall follow you in the field should you call me to do so. Sweet. Very well. What's our next step? I may have a thing, Kay. Uh, While you guys were thing? gone, I took a sightseeing trip around the city. Hmm. Turns out there are still some people living in the area. Really? Yep. There's an inn near the crossroads not far away from the gates. I saw light coming from inside, so they're most likely still in business. Nice. Here, big bro. I'll show you on the map. Ho, oh, that's excellent news. If anything, you should go and introduce yourself. You're going to be their ruler. True. Ugh, mingling with peasants. <laughs> what exactly will this accomplish? Now, now, young lady, a king is nothing without his subjects. Any fool may claim a pile of rubble, but without people, you're just an empty title. Or a tyrant. Not sure why the... the voice, I don't know, file is missing for this one, but it is. Continuing on. No, my boy. One cannot rule in a vacuum. You need to be a person. Their person. Not just a face on the throne. 
You may obtain riches and inherit lands, but in the end, true health lies in the hearts and minds of your people. You are only as powerful as the respect you command. Never forget this. Respect of my people? Hmm. Ah, at last! The Patriarch Whoa. speaks my language! Duty! Service! Loyalty! We shall forge bonds everlasting! This, I swear! Uh, yeah. What he said. <laughs> All right, I'm off to the inn. Griffith? At your side. Let's go then. Yes, my lord. More work? I don't want to do that. An agreement is made. Kay and Griffith will handle any issues involving the adventuring away team, while Gwen and Ellie will look deeper into the family's past and tackle day-to-day -day administration. First things first, however, it turns out someone's still living in the city's inn. We don't have a lot of time left, guys and gals, but I would like to uh, well, do a few things here. Uh, one of which is find a save point. Um, and two is I actually want to go and do that. We're going to load or save the game. All right, we're going to go ahead and we've done it. All right, so we have made a save point. Sweet. All righty, so we're going to go here to the placeholder inn. I like it. Authority points while spars can turn the tide of combat. You can spend them to gain extra attacks with blitz or to power up your ultimate abilities. Oh, really? So we need two authority points to... Okay, that makes sense. This is the place, young master. Okay. Let's once again see what we've got. Welcome to the placeholder. Can I get you something? Uh, hello. Well met. We would like to speak with the esteemed owner of this fine establishment. Post haste. You're weird. Uh, Mister, why does your friend speak like a weirdo? Uh, mm. Gods, Griffith, you just can't reel it in, can you? I'm sorry, we don't want anything, thanks. Can we speak with the owner? Sure, what do you need? Wait, wait, I think I'm not getting through. Uh-oh. The owner, as in the guy who owns this place? Oh, we're about to get yeah. killed. And that's you? But you're like, what, 12? Yep. All right, Griffith, <laughs> you win. Well, lend me a hand here. You're the owner, then. Are you guys slow or something? Uh, what about that menacing gentleman behind the counter? Him? That's my dad. He works here. And? And Co owns the place, I guess. Aha! Thank you. That's what we wanted to hear. Huh, weirdos. It's so good. Greetings. Mm. Are you the owner of this inn? <laughs> I am Kay of House Lauren. I wanted to inform you that I... Mm. Will, uh, be rebuilding. Um, please stop staring at me like that. You're freaking me out. <laughs> so, uh, the weather's nice, yes? Mm. Come on, give me something to work with. Mm. Uh, pretty please? Mm. Oh, for the love of... I won't answer, you know. I, I could what? have done Baz that. Baz never speaks. Would have loved to. What do you mean he never speaks? He can't speak? Mm, don't know. I haven't ever heard him utter a word. So How does he manage to run a tavern? That girl over there, Rilke, his daughter. She is his lips for all it's worth. I noticed he's a little... Intense. Yeah, yeah uh, that's Baz. Staring the crap out of people <laughs> one customer at a time. And you are? Shichirochi. What? Or just Shichi. I used to Shichi? fight in the war, and that's where I met Baz. Huh. Which war? Does it really matter? Well, we're veterans, good sirs. Spending our retirement running an inn in the ass end of nowhere. Are you also an owner? Uh, no. Yeah, I'd like to think of myself as a permanent guest who doesn't pay for his drinks. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes sleeps in the basement. <laughs> so, you're a bum. Hey, some of us quit the war with dignity. Me, I got a hole in my wallet. <laughs> also gonorrhea. Oh. I see. Awkward. I take it that the inn doesn't get many visitors. Nope. Supposedly, once upon a time, these crossroads were an oft-traveled trade route. That castle over yonder, 
heart of Ascalia, the jewel of Rashitul. Blah, blah, <laughs> blah. Long gone now. Only roaches and rubble. I'm Kay of House Lauren. Ascalia once belonged to my family. Oh, yeah, indeed. You're here to fix things a bit, boy? More or less, yes. More or less, yes. <laughs> hear that, Baz? We got a king over here. Business will flow again. Sweet. Or not. Uh, well, that's nice and all, but I'm afraid you'll be having some problems getting people to resettle. How so? It's because of the beast. Whoa. They're afraid of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> What manner of beast are you talking about, young lady? I love it. They say it's got three heads, and its eyes are like fire, and it shoots acid out of its rear. Truth be told, uh, no one knows. Huh. Uh. But it's true. Something stalks the woods, cutting animals. People are afraid of it. They say they can feel its eyes on their necks as they travel through the forest. Now... I've heard that even elves steer clear of these parts. Huh, neat. Yet nobody has ever actually seen this beast. Nope. Sounds like a myth, no? Indeed. Yeah, well, myth or not, it scares people. Besides, you're the top dog around here now, laddie. If anybody should be worried about this, it's you. It's fair. Hmm. Will you be slaying the beast, good sirs? Indeed we will. Oh, gosh. If it truly exists, <laughs> we shall restlessly scour the land until we manage to plant a sword in its squishy yet monstrous forehead. Why would it have a squishy forehead? What? Oh, it's so exciting. Did you drop by later and tell us how it went? Papa loves stories. Right, Papa? <laughs> On my honor. <laughs> well then, good luck, laddie. Happy hunting. I'll be raising a mug here hoping for your... Uh, non demise. Non demise. Perfect. Now wait a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if we get the chance, I think it's about time to end the episode. Loving this. Good news! It's not a complete ghost town. Bad news! A terrifying creature known as the Beast draws new people away. Though guided largely by hearsay and rumor, Kay resolves to find and put an end to this beast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the time, place, and spot to break off the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, especially in the first few episodes. It helps uh, with visibility and everything else. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, there'll be plenty more to come. I'm going to be doing, like I said, two a week. And we'll see how it evolves and continues to grow through. Hopefully I don't lose any save files. But if I do, I'll catch back up. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, as it goes through, it's... Uh, getting to full release status so the pre-release stuff there's gonna be patching and things getting fixed and whatnot i imagine so we'll see how all that goes and yeah so to next week not tomorrow but next week look for uh, more episodes of this until then my name is bumpy mcsquiggums thank you so much for stopping by the freak show and i will see you later <laughs>